of painful damaging torture from one of the victims of Jane Carr. He apparently spent time as a teenager in juvenile hall for undisclosed crimes. The priest's defense is being paid for following an outpouring of public support for the Korean War government. down there still thinks Jim Crow is the law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C., knows people in the FBI. Is that what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the sheriff's department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We're going to turn it over to that attorney. Then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kind of laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Well, why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing on Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're speaking. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir? 
It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with the mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay, I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case. People's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you ripped Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this. You do what I say. When I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. <clears throat> Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with Ezekiel. Blames herself for what happened. Leg is an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. Get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? Yeah, I, I remember Sinclair Parish. You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there at dark, well, that would be the last time anyone ever saw you. Down on how you two fucked up those dicky assholes. What you did to do, say? Did what had to be done? Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen, if one of these Sinclair deputies ever tried to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a car. You go to a police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, nah, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richard Duce, and in they minds, that just don't justify everything they be doing. It's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all, huh? No, just the ones that matter. Oh, 
you wanted to keep a low profile. Yeah, well, you're on our ass now, so a low profile don't come along. Now, you can take a gallery. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. Say long, send them my way. Look after yourself. Ain't you two a sight to behold? <laughs> yeah, we just a regular old beauty and the beast. Lincoln here is beauty. Name's Miss, but most folks call me MJ. How's the drive in? I've got a warm welcome from the Sinclair Sheriff's Department. Goddamn assholes. Since the uh, thing was EQ, Slim's had them high alert. And when'd you get back? A few months ago. This is my ticket home. Lost part of my stomach about a year ago. Shrapnel? Hugh got hit by an RPG. The next thing I know, I'm on the ground with part of the tail loader sticking out of me. This helps with the pain. 
<coughs> God damn. Some of my best work. That cop friend of yours got us a line on our missing folder. Mickey? Yeah. Tommy Slim's got it locked up down at the station. Don't suppose there's an easy way in and out of there? No, not unless you're invisible. Hmm. Them motherfuckers don't leave much a chance. So I should probably wait until it's dark. Try to get in when most of those assholes have gone home for the day. That's what I was thinking. Slim's a slippery bastard. Unpredictable. So I'm gonna tag along and help keep eye on things. I'm gonna be waiting for you outside. Appreciate it. And MJ. You might want to get in touch with that cop friend of yours. Tell him to call in sick. Oh, that motherfucking long gone. Surprised you didn't go in and snatch the fries yourself. I thought about it, but I suppose you deserve to have a look for me. Hey, you generous. Don't fret. I'll be keeping a bird's eye view on things from nearby. Give your heads up any way I can. Keep your head down, all right? Since the day I was born. trouble for everybody. I 
You doubt this boy from the hollow? Let's just say I'm still surprised you ain't fuck it up. Give me time. I'm sure I'll find a way. So let me make some notes inside. I like a few names. Fuck. Slim already gone to work. Some of these people done gone missing. Smiths are probably dead. He knows the names of the people we've been talking to. God damn it, we've been working like this for almost a year, putting everything together piece by piece. For it to all fall apart now. Ain't nothing falling apart. We always knew the motherfuckers hit back. These folks gave their life thinking we was gonna see this through. We still got the pictures. The written testimony. We ain't gonna let Slim worm his way out of this. So, what's our next move? I'm gonna call the folks on this list and tell them to get the fuck out of St. Clair. After that, we gonna see about Slim and his asshole friends. Thank you. You got a minute? I need some help getting some fertilizer in here. Asshole can grow some skunk weed in their backyard. It takes an artist to get in there and start mixing strains and shit. Gotta respect the man with a passion. Been growing long? Since I got back. VA shrink said I was suffering from intrusive thoughts. Couldn't get down with the meds he gave me, so I started growing. Shared my first crop with some friends, and word travels fast. Good weed does that. Cops? The cops are so focused on keeping St. Clair white, they don't notice the shade of green popping up. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I kind of got a referral system, so I don't have to worry about any old asshole talking so to the cops. So you got a pipeline in the new Bordeaux? Nah. Do you know someone who might be interested? I might. We'll talk more once things settle down around here. Thank you for the help. Want to take a hit? You shouldn't have. Fuck. You put your foot in this, boy. Goddamn right. Well, let me see if Roxy needs help digging through the files. That could take a minute. Enjoy that. We should talk business later.
damn ship blizzard headed our way. Got in touch with everybody in there except three people. Andy Lafayette, Gina Paulson, Eddie Hanahan. Slim cornered them, cut them off. Only a matter of time before he moves in. And that's just the start of it. Whole parish is locked down. No one gets in or out without Slim say so. Like I said, it's a ship blizzard. The fuck we gonna do? Those three, you know where they at? Yeah, we got somebody watching them. If you charge in guns blazing, it's just gonna get them killed. But if Roxy and I pick up a ride, bust around Sinclair kicking up dust. Motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to resist a chance to hook a couple niggas on the run. Exactly. And while all eyes are on us, MJ steals around town, grabs those three, and brings them back here. You think you can handle that? Fuck yeah, I can. Got something else that'll help. My night crawl. Ezekiel was driving her when he got got. We steal her back? Ain't no way she ain't gonna turn heads. We'll see him down a lot, like. But what do you expect, man? Cops? Alarms? Big ass fence? Ain't like we trying to bust into the Federal Reserve or something. Yeah, right. I gotta go call my old man, tell him what's going on. You come find me when you're ready to head out. All right. Fucking shit, Blizzard. Get the witnesses. Keep your head down, MJ. Can't force that salvage. You ready? Come on. That's all for the dad. You can say that. He wanted to remind you of self-sufficiency of a revolutionary black woman. <laughs> His black ass way of saying don't be shot. <laughs> well, you ain't wrong. Just plan to get in your car. It's start on a dead man switch on me. Who needs a dead man switch in their car? Lincoln, I'm partial to my weakness. Point is, I'm the only one that can get my baby started. So you and me need to get into that lot. I'll get a running and we'll get moving. I'll be gonna set off some alarms. Yeah, well, that'll be our cute haul ass out of there.
yet. Get your damn head down. to raise a little hell. Give you time to get the first witness. Let us know what you got. Yeah, boy, that's it, Talia. I'll be in touch. Let's tell Big Flip. MJ, do your thing. Time to see what kind of damage your car can do, Rox. Hold on, go away. Another one coming. Like it! Look out! Hold on, go away. There's a billboard in town for sending you a election campaign. First ways to get the sheriff's department's up. attention. Long as you don't mind the they call their friend. Give the deputies on us and keep them pissed by smashing shit up around St. Clair. That'll give MJ time to pick up the witness.
Now let's get the hell out of here. Slim's using the county fair for a little re-election party. We hit that, he'll piss Slim off and the fuckers looking to keep him in office. You driving your baby? Goddamn right. Look like you have to have a drive. Thanks, Roxy. I'll see you back at the farm. Uh -huh. 